Welcome to the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's NBA on ESPN Tuesday as we get set for tonight's game between the Chicago Bulls and the Oklahoma City Thunder. As we get things started, who on the Thunder, Jeff, do you think they need to keep an eye out for here tonight? When you're planning to play against Kevin Durant, you cannot let him get comfortable. You better put a second and third guy on this guy. Hey, how about box and one? The box on Durant, the one on everybody else. You got to do what you have to do to stop the great Kevin Durant. The Bulls are talented. The Bulls are tough, Jeff. But the Bulls have not been healthy. As always, that's the key for this team. Absolutely, Mike. Health is imperative for every team, but particularly for the Chicago Bulls, and it starts with Derrick Rose. And then Joe Noah, battling through some knee problems the last couple years. If he's back to quarterback their defense, and Rose is also healthy, they've got a chance to win the Eastern Conference. Three points. The Westbrook moves into the front court. against Gasol, it's good. He's averaging 14 points per game this season. Goes to the goal and scores. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Jeff, I don't think there was any player looking forward to this season more than Kevin Durant after the injury play campaign he had last year. Oh, there's no question, Mike. He loves basketball, he loves competing, and he loves his teammates in Oklahoma City. And so, without Durant, I thought they performed well. With Durant, they have as good a roster as anybody in the NBA. Kevin Durant will have a big-time year if healthy. Fires from three-point range. Can't hit from downtown. The NBA game is a long game. You may be down now, but if you string together three or four good possessions at both ends of the floor, you can be right back in. Westbrook for two. Good finish inside. He's the league's top scorer this season. Noah's looking for position in the paint. Turnover forced by Ibaka. To the basket, flips it up. And Dion Waiters with the nice look, sinks it. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Rose for three, wide open. Rose and shot, misses its mark. His first shot of the night. Excellent defense to force the turnover. To the rim, score the goal and one. Serge Ibaka picks up his first foul of the night. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. Ref blows the whistle, foul by Rose. To number one, Derek Rose. James is on the court right now from both teams. Substitutions, Chicago. Cantor for two, puts it up. The Thunder with the offensive rebound for a new 24. And once again, when the ball is up in the air, they're the ones coming down with it. This is the kind of effort that it's great to see. Westbrook jump shot. Can't hit from way outside. Throws the alley-oop. 
Oh, beautiful pass, and he lays it in. They haven't wasted any time in establishing an offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. Westbrook against Rose. On the reverse. And Russell Westbrook with the bucket. That's nice body control right there on that lap. Good finish. Rose jump shot. Three-pointer won't go. Westbrook on the drive. Jimmy Butler back with the Bulls. That was the number one priority in the offseason. He has turned into as good a two-way player as there is on the perimeter. What a year Jimmy Butler had bouncing back from a subpar year the year before. The NBA's most improved player. And like you said, Mike, he did it at both ends of the floor. A terrific two-way player. there in time yes offensive foul called against Miritich looks like the coach is going to make some changes yep here comes some substitutions Chicago's leading Oklahoma City by a score of 15 to 11 fires away from downtown the Thunder with control on the rebound unable to flip it in Dunleavy for three. That's a turnover. Gibson from downtown. Nobody near him. And as we wind down the quarter, he just fires it up. Buzzer sounds. That ends the first quarter. Chicago's up by four. Stay with us for more NBA action after this short break. Second quarter is set to begin. No one comes out strong here to begin the first. What do you expect now, Jeff? Well, both teams have to look for some sort of consistency. No consistency in their play. Up and down first quarter, both teams close, but not well played. The Bulls a perfect example of you're going to have your ups and downs night in and night out offensively. But if you play defense with that type of commitment, with that type of passion, you're in every game. Absolutely. The misnomer is that defense wins championships. But when you're going through and absorbing the injuries the Bulls have had the last couple years, you have to try to stay in games by playing tough as nails defense. And that's exactly the formula the Bulls use to play with great, great success. Ref makes the call. Offensive foul called against Miritich. Durant for two, shoots away. Shot won't go. For three, can't connect from long range. You know, Jeff, during his NBA career, Kevin Durant's been known as a humble superstar, a real gentleman. But we've seen now that hunger for a championship We've seen a little bit of a nasty streak in him, one that just wants to do anything to win a title. It is, and I think he's feeling the heat to try to deliver a championship to Oklahoma City. I think the pressures are legitimate. I think he's feeling it, and I think sometimes he's lashing out at what he feels is unjust, unwarranted, unfair critiquing and criticism. 
puts it down. An 8-0 run for the Thunder. And we'll have a 20-second timeout. The team needs to refocus. The coach has to do it at a timeout. He can't get it done on the fly on the floor. Number 16. Lazy pass and a turnover. Durant won't go the two-pointer. He's a great shooter, but he could have driven the ball into the paint and made a play for his teammates. Dunleavy misfires from long distance. If Roberto Durant was here, he'd be shouting, no must, no must. They continue to get pummeled with the three ball from behind the line here in the first half. for two, unable to flip it in. That's good team defense right there, forcing that miss. McDermott against Roberson. Gasol. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for another possession. And they've been coming up with the ball consistently when it's coming off the backboard. They've done a great job on the boards early in this game. Durant against Gasol. Roberson has the double team close in. Puts it up. Takes it to the rim and misses. Another good quality attempt at the basket. Unfortunately, they missed it. Remember last season, Jeff? First time NBA history. Powell and Marc Gasol, the first brothers to start the All-Star game. There are a lot of differences in those two brothers but they have some similar characteristics as well. Agree. Both are terrific passers. Both can finish with either hand. And they both, with different body types, rebound the basketball. And oh, by the way, we'll probably see both in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Coach says, hold on now. Let's talk it over. They call a full timeout. What's the thinking here? Sometimes early in the game, you use a quick, full timeout to calm your team down. Sometimes the intensity is ratcheted up too hot, and you just have to take a timeout to calm your team down and get it into more of a zen-like state where their focus could be on the next play. from downtown with just one left on the shot clock. Noah and Oklahoma City's call for the foul. Their first team foul. And Joaquin Noah will go to the line. He's shooting 60% this season. You know, Jeff, earlier you talked about Noah's passing ability. He broke the Bulls franchise record. Most assists in a game by a center, 14. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you really think about it, 14 assists by an NBA center, it's an incredible accomplishment. You're right, it's, it's a unique ability for a guy to be a point guard, skill-wise, from the center position. Think about his ability to defend, rebound, and pass. You just don't find those all in conjunction usually. Durant fires for three, where's the defense? The assist from number zero, Russell Westbrook. Looking to curl in. One minute left in the second quarter. Bates for two. Not that time. Chance for a three-point play. Count the basket. And the foul, a block called against Dunleavy. And Russell Westbrook will get to the line to try and finish the three-point play. That's a dunk you tell your grandkids about when you're old and great. Finishing through contact with ferocity. Lots of room there. Knocks down the three-pointer. Derrick Rose is one for three from outside. What a beautiful stroke right down the heart of the basket. Big time three. 
Careless ball handling. Taken away by Rose. Tremendous steal right there because it was tremendous anticipation. This is why he's one of the greats in the game at stealing the ball. Gets past the defense. Nice. And Joe King Noah with a strong rebound. Rose in possession. Oh, what a play! Four and two. The assist from number one. Can't hold on to the ball. Durant on the drop. It's good. And one. He got there late. The foul called against Rose. And Kevin Durant will go to the line. Able to hit the free throw, and it's a three-point play. He sees something down court. And that'll do it. First half comes to an end. Chicago's down by four. We'll have more Tuesday night NBA from ESPN and EA Sports after this halftime break. And we're back at the United Center for the second half of this game. If you're just joining us, along with me is Jeff Van Gundy. I'm Mike Breen. Chicago's seen another nail biter and trailing here as we get set to start the third quarter. What's the key for them to get over the hump and get that lead? Well, it's simple. It's going to be a hard game. These close games, you've got to grind it out, particularly defensively, and wear teams down. Can't hit from beyond the arc. Pau Gasol's 0 for 3 from long range. Hey, that's a tough shot, but I'd rather have a good player taking a bad shot than a bad player taking a good shot. Puts it down. The assist from good to see Joaquin Noah healthy, Jeff. I know he's the type of player you would have loved to have coached. Intensity defensively, great passing big. He's never going to put up big scoring numbers, Mike, but he helps you play the game well together at both ends of the floor. Again, it comes back to health. If he's healthy, he's a big-time player for the Chicago Bulls. And Fred Hoiberg calls timeout. Right now, his team's searching for answers. Rose on the drive. Noah jump shot. Can't connect. Shoots for three. Adams the rebound. He's averaging seven rebounds per game this season. Sloppy pass intercepted by Noah. Throws the lob. Oh, what a play as he slams it home. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Westbrook against Rose. And now he moves around the defender. Strong finish at the rim. Dribble penetration will always break down your defense. You've got to keep the ball out of the paint. You can't allow it right at the basket for easy shots. The assist from number one. Westbrook coming across. Westbrook fires. And that won't go. Al Gasol was a champion in Los Angeles, Jeff. He wants to be a champion in Chicago. He's been a nice fit for the Bulls. So many people thought his career was on the downside when Chicago signed him a season ago. But he proved last year to be, along with Jimmy Butler, the two most important players on their roster. Al Gasol really was good for the Bulls last year, and I expect it to be an excellent addition again this year. Adams trying for position in the paint. Terrific block by Butler. And he draws the foul. And Dion Waiters will go to the line with under three minutes to go here in the third. Dion Waiters shooting the two. Oops, missed the first one. And he's able to hit the second after missing that first one. And he curls in to the rim. 
able to knock it down. And Derrick Rose with nine points. I love when teams share the ball. You learned everything you needed to know in this world in kindergarten. And the number one thing that Mrs. French taught me was share. And I'll tell you what, they are sharing the basketball here today in this game. Plenty of contact, offensive foul called against Rose. Randy Foy is checking back into the game for the Thunder. Three and a half gone by in the third. The Bulls down by nine. Gets it off, that's a two-pointer, won't go. And they can't extend the lead into double figures. Throws it up, the pass, and alley -oop, and he puts it down. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. He's fouled by Rose. To number one, Derek Rose. Fred Holberg switching a few players here. Chicago, that's his fourth personal foul. Team foul number two. Westbrook on the drive, getting to the basket, a pretty Euro step. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Dunleavy against Singler. From downtown, Singler the rebound. Even though the Duran injury last year, Jeff, was so difficult for the Thunder, how about the play of Russell Westbrook? He was Mr. Triple-Double one stretch of the season. Incredible year for Russell Westbrook. He, too, was injured. But when Westbrook came back, he was on absolute fire. He knew his team needed him to be great on a nightly basis, and he absolutely delivered. And a foul is called. That's his personnel change going on right now. Fires from downtown. Dunleavy the rebound. Oh, he beats the defender. Dunleavy nails it. Chicago's shooting 47% from the field. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Cantor for two, lets it go. Off the mark, quite can't get that double-digit lead. You never know in this league. You just work for 48 minutes. Challenge shots, make it hard on the other team. You can get back in the game. McDermott against Durant. Gibson's working hard, trying to back down his opponent. And he's fouled. Enos Cantor picks up his first personal of the night. And Taj Gibson will go to the line with under 30 seconds to go in the third. Smart basketball preventing an easy score and putting a poor free throw shooter to the free throw line. And gets both points from the line. There's a two second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Tries to adjust the shot. Dunleavy jumper. Hits to three. Leaves it down the length of the floor. Oh, what a play! Jeff, who thought the box and one might be the best way to slow down Durant? They haven't used it yet, but they need to do something. Yeah, a bit of hyperbole, Mike, I know, but seriously, this guy is just so dynamic from an offensive standpoint. The length to be able to get his jump shot off, his finishing ability at the rim is unparalleled. Fourth quarter set to get underway. This one, anyone's ball game. What do you look for in the fourth period? Fourth quarters are about two things, will and skill. And if you got them both, you got a chance. Throws it down! Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with a nice dunk. Rose on the drive. McDermott jump shot. Oh, sinks the two-pointer. 
That's beautiful basketball right there. Getting a two-point shot. Look at that balance, rhythm, and follow. -up. Westbrook against Rose. What a dunk. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. McDermott jump shot. The Bulls with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Rose is shot for three. Off the mark. Fires it up again. Gets it to go. Ten-point lead for the Thunder. They played well the entire night at the offensive end of the floor. They've moved the ball well, and they continue to generate quality shots. Waiters jump shot. Can't get it to go. I like it. I, I'm seeing more effort in the last couple of minutes than we saw in the first half. It may not result in a win here tonight, but the effort is something they can build on going forward. Westbrook brings it across. Adams looking to set up in the paint, and he throws it down. This is an absolute joke. This defense is horrible. You've got to stay between your man and the basket versus getting broken down off the dribble. Adams the rebound. He's averaging seven rebounds per game this season. From three-point land, Westbrook the rebound. Roberson fires away. Knocks it down, a two-pointer. Oklahoma City shooting 55% from the field. And a full timeout is called. All right, Jeff, if you're the coach, what do you do here? Sometimes, early in the game, you use a quick full timeout to calm your team down. Sometimes the intensity is ratcheted up too high, and you just have to take a timeout to calm your team down and get it into more of a zen-like state where their focus could be on the next play. Westbrook against Rose. Curling in, block! That kind of play, Mike, makes a statement. From three-point land, gets it to go. Terrific shot from Jimmy Butler. Hey, you kick, look at the technique on that three-point shot. The rhythm, the bounce, the arc, the follow through. That's a thing of beauty. If that's the best he can do as a defender, then he has to come out and sit next to me as the coach. You've got to keep the ball handler out on the perimeter and make him take jump shots. Fred Hoiberg's making a few substitutions. Ball loose again, goes out of bounds, so it'll be Thunder Ball. to the basket. Oh, pretty shot from Russell Westbrook. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. Durant against Gasol. To the rim, hits for two. The Thunder up by 13. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Gets in the paint. Oh, what a finish. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense, one out. 
that time. Durant against Dunleavy. Oh, quick move, gets inside. Strong finish at the rim. See, that's their problem there defensively. They're allowing the ball to get deep in the paint and right at the basket. You cannot defend like that and win basketball games. Noah fires away for two. Won't go. Pass is broken up, stolen by Noah. I really like that. That's good defense, good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. There's a foul. It's called against the Bulls. So that's the first foul in the last two minutes. Next one, they're in the penalty. The coach going to make some changes and switch up the matchups. Subbing in for the Chicago Bulls, number 22, Taj Gibson. Pass intercepted. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? As we wind down the fourth, there's a timeout. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. There's the whistle, personal foul. The Bulls did not have a foul to give, so it'll be free throws. Team foul number two, Chicago Bulls are in the Nope, first free throw won't go. Good recovery, hits the second free throw. And a timeout taken late here in the fourth. Coming out of a timeout in the last minute of the game, many teams would give up in this situation. No, what you have to do is get a quick three. When you knock that in, immediately set up your defensive pressure and try to force a turnover. Set nicely, curls in, strong to the goal, offensive rebound. No question, there's a foul. To number 22, Taj Gibson. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number three, Chicago Bulls are in the penalty. Off the mark on the first free throw. Good bounce back, hitting the second free throw. He's one for two. Puts it up for three. And that's it. Time runs out. The final score is 69 to 59. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. Taylor Rose here. And I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Thunder won this game after a close finish. The most eye-opening part of this game was the excellent field goal percentage. The way they scored the ball was simply stunning and worthy of every compliment. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Bulls are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. They did a great job with their ball movement, forcing the defense to constantly make adjustments. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for the win. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Chicago Bulls. Game track.
points in the paint. When I see points in the paint on the screen, I think physical basketball. I think about sacrificing your body and getting the hard-earned points. These teams definitely exemplified that here today. When you look at the game stats, you definitely get a more complete picture of player of the game. Russell Westbrook did his part with scoring and playmaking. There's no denying it. The way he distributed the ball was just as fun to watch as when he scored it. And now, of course, the stats. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. These are the top plays of the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you.